Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a new Kickstarter. But before we take a look at it, we should go over what makes a good crowdfunder, so we can then later judge it on those standards. There are many things that make a crowdfunder good. It must be well thought out. That means there has to have been the necessary amount of research put into it. You can't tell me why I should buy an apple if you know nothing about apples. If you don't know about the importance of something, neither will we when you try to enlighten us about the importance of it. Not only that, but we need to know that you know what you're doing. You need to prove to us that if you get funded, you'll be able to put that money in good use for the benefits of your project and the people who backed it. You also shouldn't set your goal too high. It should be a given, but one mistake a lot of people make when making a crowdfunder is setting the goalpost too high. The crowdfunders that get fully funded are usually the ones that don't shoot to the moon and back. And a good crowdfunder is one where you know exactly what you can be expecting if it gets funded. A really good crowdfunder that I can think of was the Indiegogo for the Angry Video Game Nodes movie. In one of his videos about the crowdfunder, James used two full episodes of his online series as examples of what the movie would be like. Not only that, but it was THE Angry Video Game movie. People who were fans of his content knew what to expect from a movie centered around the Angry Video Game node. Juxtapose that with the Oraxis Kickstarter, you'd know why Butch Hartman's crowdfunder for Oraxis was so horrible. A streaming service for family friends the content. What does that mean? What is your definition of family-friendly content? You plan on bringing families back together? Okay, but how? It says a lot when four years after a Kickstarter got fully funded, we still don't know what to expect. And that's part of the presentation. A good presentation is informative and also gets people interested in what you're trying to do. So, those are the basics. Do your research, set a reasonable goal, create a clear vision for your project, and have a good presentation. Let's see how this one does in those aspects. This is a Kickstarter for an animated series called Defenders of Elodia. The creator of it is an animation student who goes by Naya on Twitter. I don't know if that's her name or if it's a nickname she has on Twitter. This is my first time looking at this Kickstarter. Maybe it says in the Kickstarter. Okay, so before I take a look at this video up here, my attention is first drawn to this header below it. An animated series following the adventures of a teenage girl as she traverses through a land filled with robots and magical creatures. I really like this. Of course, it's important to have a lot of details laid out in your Kickstarter about what it's for, but it's good to also have a header that tells people what your project's about in a simple, quick manner. Because not everyone's gonna want to read a lot of text to begin to understand what something is about. This is one sentence, informative, and gets to the point. I'm already liking the presentation so far. Let's watch the video. Bold Bold Studios. So, we get introduced to the cast of the main characters that will be in the series. It's very reassuring to know that there are people attached to this project. Something that can often make people skeptical of a crowdfunder is if the people attached to the project aren't introduced in the crowdfunder, or if it appears there is no one attached. It's good to have a crew, and it's especially good to introduce that crew to your audience. This video is narrated by Shakira Dunn, the voice of the main character, Rebecca Winstead. I will say, she has a really good voice for a protagonist. If this gets funded, I'll be excited to see how this cast can do voicing characters in a fully animated series. I hope if it gets made, they use a better sounding mic for the characters. I don't have the best sounding mic either, but I'm not trying to make a fully realized crowdfunded series. And if this series gets made and has the same sounding audio quality as this video, it's definitely going to be a detractor for the series. The name of the creator I mentioned earlier is actually pronounced Naya, and her full name is Naya Faye. There's also actually two creators of the series. The other co-creator is named Holly Jane. There was a mention in the video of a hardworking working crew of animators and artists. I'm not sure if this crew has already been hired or not, since this video doesn't necessarily say any names of the people in the crew. In the video, they talk about them needing funds to get the series off the ground. Their goal for the Kickstarter is $44,500. That's not for the entire first season, that's just for the pilot. I think it would be absurd if it were the budget 
budget for an entire season of a series, but for a series pilot, this, in my opinion, seems like a pretty reasonable goal. I don't know if they're going to be putting any more money into the pilot, but if $44,500 is the budget for the pilot, I wouldn't expect the animation to look as good as a high quality animated television series. All things considered, it's a pretty low budget for a fully animated pilot. However, to its benefit, it's a realistic goal, and I wouldn't say they're asking for too much out of a crowdfunder, and at the end of the day, this is an internet cartoon. It doesn't have to have the same level of quality as what you would see on Disney Channel. In the video, we're shown a graph of how the money raised will be distributed for the different stages of developing the pilot. Although you probably can't expect the same level of animation as glitch text or other beautifully animated shows, we do see that the majority of the money raised for the Kickstarter will go towards the animation, as 52.6% of the money will be put towards the animation production. For the pre-production, post-production, and music, there will be an equal distribution of the money, 15.8% of it each. 10.5% of the money raised will go towards the voice acting, which is a pretty low amount of an already low budget, but they already have a main cast, so they probably won't have to hire many other voice actors, though they will have to pay the ones they already have too. This is what we currently have as a series logo for Defenders of Elodia. One good way to get people to back a crowdfunder is to show them what you can do on your own, to prove to people that you and your team are talented people who deserve their financial support. I'm gonna show you guys a clip taken from near the end of the video that shows actually quite a lot. A lot more than I was expecting to be honest. We get to see some storyboards and a bit of animation. I'm not gonna lie, that part actually got me hyped for a minute. But let's continue looking at the rest of this Kickstarter. That $44,500 goal is a set goal, meaning if it doesn't get fully funded, everyone who backed this Kickstarter will get their money back. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's gonna get out of funds it needs. At the time of me recording this video, the Kickstarter has 18 days left to go. But the time I finish editing this video and upload it to YouTube, it's probably gonna have 17 or 16 days left to go. That's not a lot of time. This Kickstarter has been up for a while. So far, it's got 116 backers and has raised $5,619. That is a lot of money, but it's less than 15% of their fixed goal for the Kickstarter. And if they can't raise half that amount in the first half of the period of time the Kickstarter will be up for, I don't see them being able to raise over 85% of their goal in the second half of the time it'll be up for. Down here, here, we've got a poster for season 1 of the series. I do really like the art style. I think it looks very stylized and pleasing to the eyes. What is Defenders of Elodia? Defenders of Elodia is a sci-fi fantasy action adventure epic animated series produced by Bold Build Studios. The series is a take on action cartoons and shonen anime with comedy and emotionally gripping storyline and a spunky, flawed, but lovable protagonist. Although there's a gif of a few storyboards from the first episode. A teenage girl named Rebecca Winstead is transported to the sci-fi western fantasy world Elodia, filled with crooks, techno wizards, aliens, and sorcerers. Imbued with enhanced, archaic energy, she travels the west with wanted mercenary Zade and a defective robot in search of a way home. It won't prove easy though, as the vicious barbarian, a scholar of the vile, vexatious ruler of Elodia, is out to get her and unlock the secrets of her ability. On their journey across the West, they come across hidden societies, ruthless bandits, and ancient cosmic deities, embarking on a destiny that will change the future of Elodia and the universe itself. This definitely sounds like an interesting concept for an animated series, and I can see a series like this going in many different directions, and being entertaining and fun to watch. Wow, okay, so they actually do list out a lot of names of the people in the crew that they mentioned in the video of Aldrist and Animator, 
tomatoes and that's good that's very good to do people want to know who's attached to a crowdfunder if they decide to back it again we've got a list of the cast in the form of pictures of the voice actors along with the characters they'll be voicing these pictures look very professional as far as thought and presentation i can tell there was a lot of thought put into the presentation of this kickstarter down below there's also multiple paragraphs going into the world of the series and i've already read this part if you want to read all of it the kickstarter is linked in the description of this video but i'm just going to be going over one paragraph here that i thought was a standout one vexatious is a ruthless synthetic being who despises our organic life and threatens to wipe the universe clean to start a new synthetic robotic race of life little is known of his origins though many rumors about him possibly being an original human surface from time to time i really admire how menacing this reads it's a very cool paragraph and also intriguing and makes you want to know more about this being and see what happens involving this vexatious in the series also the pictures of concept out that goes along with these paragraphs explaining the world of the series look pretty sick and i like how other rewards have to do in some way with the series for the rewards we have stuff like access to official defenders of Lodia comics only viewing of official episodes and animatics before general release and more and these are the stretch goals which i don't think they'll make enough money for overall i I think this is a nicely put together kickstarter it seems to have been planned for a while gives off kind of a we know what we're doing kind of vibe it's also informative tells you everything you need to know about it and shows some pretty promising stuff i just don't think it's gonna be able to get fully funded but if nothing else you can't say they didn't try very hard on this kickstarter that's gonna be it for this video what do you guys think feel free to let me know in the comments below and thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it feel free to like share and subscribe